Are you guys looking to get that ultra smooth footage in your video? Whether you shot handheld and you need to smooth that footage out, or you used a gimbal and the gimbal just didn't do as well as you thought it would, I'm gonna be going over how to create smooth motion in Adobe Premiere. Dope. I was watching my other videos and I was thinking literally if you watch all my videos You literally see the progression of my hair growing out uh, Now you can see that we just have the top and the bun the back's not making it yet, but we are getting closer What's poppin everybody? My name is Danny Matthews. Welcome back to a brand new video today I'm gonna be teaching you how to create smooth footage in Adobe Premiere So let's jump into it for reference in Premiere my timeline is here my toolbar is here Here's my source panel my project and effects windows are gonna be here here is the effects control for that. And finally, the preview window. So now that you have the layout of Adobe Premiere, here we are. We, we have our clip here that we want to put our smooth motion to it. Uh, so let's go ahead and watch it back. And we can see that it's pretty dang shaky. I want a handheld on this. Um, and I want to smooth this out just a little bit. So a couple different tips I'm going to show you through here. You can just use one effect and just boom, be done with it. But I do want to show you other ways to get even smoother footage with better results because some footage may not be able to work with the effect I'm about to show you so I want to go over all the details with you in this we have this clip I actually already slowed it down to 80% I shot this in 24 frames per second so slowed it down to 80% that way it has a little bit more smoothness to it that way when we put the effect on it it's, it's gonna be able to analyze this way better so guys if you shot this in 60 frames per second you can slow this down all the way down to 40% and that will start smoothing it out a whole lot more but what we're gonna do is go over here to our effects tab and we're gonna go ahead and type in warp stable Stabilizer. Right down here, we can see that we have a warp stabilizer. You can either double click it or drag it onto your effects control right here. And guys, before you head and double click this or put it onto your effects control, what we have to first do is nest this clip because you cannot put warp stabilizer with a with the clip that has changed in the speed or duration of. So if you change the speed or duration, you're gonna have to go ahead and nest it. What you can do is go ahead and right click this, go over to nest, go and click it, and come over here, give it a name, and hit OK. Now what we can do is go ahead and double click this warp stabilizer or bring it over here into our effects control and it's going to automatically start analyzing now when we go ahead and watch this back we can see what our result is you can see this is extremely different from what we first saw and you can see there's a little bit of rifts in here and a little bit of there's a little bit of motion blur in here that i'm not really loving right here there's like a shake and what we're gonna do for that is we're gonna actually go ahead and just slow down the smoothness here i'm gonna go through all these settings on here we have stabilization under here we have the result we have smooth motion or no motion smooth motion is gonna be for any kind of movement in the frame if there's a shot on a tripod then you're gonna go ahead and use no motion because it was on a tripod and say the wind kind of pushed it from side to side it's a little bit of shakiness that's when you're going to use no motion what we're going to do over here in our smooth and our smoothness the higher it is the more it's going to try and smooth it out not how smooth it's going to be but how much it's going to try and smooth it out so what we're going to do is actually go ahead and lower this because it is a little bit too much and honestly you can get away with about five to ten percent if it's like giving you a lot of motion blur that's something that you can go ahead and just reduce and you can see it's a little bit better on here Come down here we have method is substance warps which it literally warps the entire image to make sure it's all smooth and laid out you can just do certain things like position position scale rotation perspective and you can kind of experiment with that and see what is their best result not always not all the time subspace is going to be the best way but 95 percent of the time subspace warp is going to be what you want coming down here to border we have framing you can reframe it how you like it you can recreate the images here that usually never works stabilize only or stabilize crop stabilize less crop auto scale that's what it's doing to the image and what's going on in the background so you can also have additional scale which i would just leave that at default and in here in the advanced you can go in with a little bit more advanced tools to really finite this if we go ahead and change this rolling shutter ripple to enhance reduction it actually changes a little bit of that motion blur that we were having and we can go ahead and see a little bit of adjustment right there whole lot better than what we had before so on the screen you can see our before and you can see our after and you can see it's a very very big difference it's not absolutely perfect but it does a very very well job of creating super smooth footage this was a more aggressive movement shot that i had and anything that's not as aggressive and shaky is going to do amazing onto your footage if you want to take this even deeper and you're really having a hard time at just stabilizing this footage and it's just super just whack and you had the worst time filming or whatever the case may be I actually created a tutorial right here where you can actually manually stabilize this clip and then what we're going to do 
just also put warp stabilizer on top of it because it's stabilizing the already stabled manual thing that you did. But I will warn you, it takes a very long time to do, but it's worth it if you have some really, really crappy footage. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, go ahead and leave it down in the comments below and I'll get back to you guys on that ASAP. If you learned something from this video, go ahead and check out one of these two videos because I promise you're going to learn something in one of those. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.